Tiernan, good work out here at Oriel Park against Dundalk. How did you see the game? Yeah, I was delighted. Um, it was our, our first time together now in, in, in four or five weeks and uh, a lot of new faces in there and um, I thought there was, there was way more positives than there was negatives. Um, it was great to actually get two 11s, got a lot of the younger ones on the pitch and good game time and um, it, was, it was interesting. And coming at the end of the first week of pre-season, I'm sure you've been uh, doing a lot of uh, fitness work and running, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, so they're maybe not going to be uh, at, their, at their maximum in terms of energy levels. I think it, today was all about that match sharpness. Um, that their work rate all week has been absolutely, not really superb, and their effort and their commitment has been has been through the roof. So it was now trying to get some match fitness into their into their legs, and um, I thought everybody worked really hard, and we got what we needed out of it. Uh, and two different 11s, uh, 45 minutes each as well. It's important to kind of build players up towards these these European games especially. Yeah, it, as I say, we haven't played in four or five weeks now and um, it's important that we that, that we do this uh, uh, gradually. Um, and there's trying to get a combination of, of, of both tactical, technical and physical in there um, without overloading them is, is really important. Uh, and we go to uh, play Hamilton during the week, a uh, trip across the, the RHC, another uh, good test for the players, maybe an opportunity to, for them to spend a little bit more time together uh, overnight as well. Yeah, uh, as I say, every day is a building block for us and what we're trying to do here. And um, This isn't going to happen in, in two weeks or three weeks. This is something that's going to take a little bit of time and uh, it's going to be gradual blending these players together again, getting new faces in who, who are going to probably try and understand our game model, how we play, what we need from them. Um, so, but it's exciting. As I say there, there was way more positives today than there was negatives. Uh, a couple of trialists involved today. Is that something that we'll, we'll see throughout pre-season, or what, what's the kind of process involved from uh, from your side and from the club side looking at players? Yeah, there, there, there's. We would still depend on what happens um, one week in the pre-season. We're probably earlier than most with being in Europe. So, I think there's probably still a lot to be done over over the summer months and. Um, there, I'm sure these games will, will definitely in, include trialists somewhere along the line and um, we'll see, we'll see where it takes us. Uh, and maybe a, a bit more of a, a turnover in play and staff um, this summer than, than we've maybe seen in, in previous years so it does take a little bit more time as you say to, to bed players in and to get them used to not only the club but their teammates and um, how you want them to play and what's expected of them as well. Yeah, uh, we talked about it before today's game, it's all about relationships and building relationships with people on the pitch and um, understanding people's games and the runs that they'll make and the movements that they'll make and that's just something that, that, that will take time. Um, as I say, there's people who've been here for a while, there's people who have just came in the door, there's a fair, little bit of, there's a fair bit of information that we try to go through when, when we play in possession, out of possession, transition all goes with it um, and that's all just going to take time. And there'll be four or five senior players not able to, to be involved today. Pre-season games obviously aren't ones to, to rush people uh, back for, but are you, are you confident maybe um, come the, the 5th of July that you'll have a reasonably sort of good bill of health to, to choose from? I hope so. Um, obviously you've, you've still two games to play and uh, a long way to go as far as training's concerned and fitness is concerned, but um, we're hoping Kofi's on his way back and we're hoping John's on his way back. Um, and, and, and there's going to be uh, Albert's, I think, middle of July before anything can happen with him um, so yes there's, 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 there's bringing those couple of boys back will also give us a, a new lease of life and um, it's something that we'll look forward to getting them back on the pitch um, Aaron Dunley not able to, to be involved today but, but uh, you hope to have him back soon yeah Aaron's on holiday for a, a pre-booked holiday otherwise I wouldn't have never have let him go um, but it was something that he had booked before before he came to the club so again Aaron's another one that we're looking forward to getting on the pitch and um, and getting integrated to what we're doing. Uh, Navid Naziri, um, what's the, the situation there? Nav actually has COVID at the moment and was on holiday and, 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 and has COVID, so he won't be joining us again, I think, until, until that all clears up. Uh, and uh, speaking to you for the first time since the, the draw for the uh, Conference League was made, St Joseph's of, of Gibraltar, what, uh, what do you make of the draw? <sighs> you, you, they're all good draws if you win, um, but it's just one of those situations where we don't know a huge amount about them. Um, we've still a lot of homework to do. Um, obviously, the heat will play a factor, and 
there's a lot of work that we have to do to get ourselves acclimatised to that and understand that. So there's a there's a lot of work to, to be done in this. But again, the, the club's in Europe for the second time and it's history and we got to take the positives out of it and we got to take the excitement out of it and we got to go and enjoy it. And uh, nice to, to have fans hopefully able to, to travel a little bit uh, more this time as well and they're obviously excited for the draw. Yeah, um, I think they're probably delighted to where the draw is and they get to go on holidays for a, for a week and watch Lauren in Europe, which is great for them. So again, they're, they're, that's exciting for everyone and that's why we're doing this. That's what this is all about for us. And from your point of view, the, the hard, work, hard work continues back to Inver Park this week, some uh, training and then over to Hamilton for the game. Yeah, the boys will get a, a recovery day tomorrow and then we're back in Monday morning again um, and, and, and we go again. And as I say, as I've been telling the players, that their work rate the, the last week has been absolutely utterly phenomenal. Um, the, the togetherness of the new boys that have come into the squad, the energy levels have been absolutely utterly superb. I couldn't be more proud. Uh, and just finally, a question that the fans will want to, uh, to ask and, and hear the answer. Are you still looking in the transfer market or what, what does that look like over the next little while? Um, can I plead the fifth? Uh, no. That's just one of those ones that, listen, as I say, we're still very early on in, in, in pre-season and who knows what's going to happen. Um, would, we love, would we like to strengthen our squad? As a manager, you're always going to say yes. As a board, you might say different. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Great. Thank you. Cheers.